Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. Have you ever had a situation where you needed to put a, spro a sprocket, a pulley, something on a shaft, but there was a lot of stuff you had to disassemble first to get to that? Or you wanted to add something, or you know it was a maintenance problem and you know it needs to be done. So we're going to show you how to split a sprocket. Now this is for a customer, they've got a situation where that is necessary to replace these sprockets every so often because they do wear out. Um, but to get it at it, they have to disassemble an entire machine and it's just not feasible. Um, so what you do is you take your sprocket first, you scribe a line right down the middle and you start at the bottom of a tooth, bottom to bottom. You don't want to be up in a tooth, you don't want to be anywhere but the bottom. Otherwise you're going to have problems with your chain. Now, this one is already scribed. I've already got a couple that I started counter boring, but we count, they want quarter inch um, cap screws. So I already counter bored those. I'll counter bore this one to show you because I already got started. Um, but we're going to counter bore and then we'll do our clearance drill in into our scribed line, actually just a touch past our scribed line that the bolt will slip in and then we'll tap drill it. So what what size we need for our, our tap and I believe these are quarter 20 so we'll uh, use a number 7 drill and uh, drill that and then I'll hand tap it afterwards just because I'll have it split and then I'll hand tap it. So. Let's get it set up in the mill and get started.
All right, so we got our first piece over here in the bandsaw, and you're probably wondering, you saw me punch them. What I was doing was numbering them. So each one is numbered. When we split it, it's, it's not gonna be perfect. Um, with the bandsaw, it, it, I just won't be able to get it absolutely perfect. If I was using the sledding saw, yeah, that, that I could get perfect and I wouldn't worry about it too much, but still, I would mark them, no matter what, um, and make sure they're numbered. So like this is number one, I got number two and number three that I'll split, and then they can go together as a set when you're done. Um, so we're all clamped in here in my Johnson. If you wanna hear the Johnson jokes, just go look for the Mark Twain Zephyr video um, where I have some really good Johnson jokes. Anyway, we're clamped in here. We're just gonna feed it nice and slow. Um, if I was doing more than three of these, like 10 or so, I would actually build a fixture if this was a regular thing and I was doing at least 10. Um, but it's not, so I'm gonna take it real slow and we'll just saw right through, split it right open. So there it is, pretty simple. You just got a counter bar and cut at the bottom of the tooth. Pretty, pretty easy. Um, you know, this is something you guys can do at your own shop, in your home, or, or um, feel free to send me stuff. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to take on jobs. If you got something you would like to see me do on video, please reach out to me. Um, you can email me or call me um, and I would be more than happy to do a video on it for you and do a, um, and show how to do your, whatever it is you want me to do. Um, and if you have any ideas for stuff, let me know. So with that, I'm gonna finish up the other two and, uh, and get these boxed up and delivered. So until next time, like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com, and like and subscribe. Stay with us, see what's next. Stay tuned, um, lots of good videos coming. So, till next time, get out in the shop and get it done right the first time.